we have to um, design our products differently in such a way that we can recover the materials that are in it. Now the Eco Design Directive is only focusing on energy uh, parts of products, but it should also focus on the materials used that we can recover everything that's in our products. We have a little bit of uh, chromium in Europe, uh, produced in Finland, in Sweden, and then we have scrap, and scrap is really generated by ourselves. And uh, fr frankly speaking, we should also capitalize on this and, and increase the recycling of, of uh, 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 let's say, I wouldn't mention the, the name waste, because as someone said in the meeting, waste is not a word to be used because we, we have a resource and we, and we should recycle it. Stainless steel at first looks very, a little bit more expensive than other materials. But when you look on the life cycle costing, taking not the price of buying it, but the price of using it, the cost of maintenance, the cost of recyclability, then stainless steel is a material of choice. Our economy is, is addicted to low priced resources. That was for 150 years still 10 years ago when the prices went up. Um, I believe at this moment with very high prices for resources it makes no sense to introduce a tax on raw materials. I'd rather promote and um, the, the use of recycled materials by lowering the VAT or having other price instruments um, to, to make it more profitable for a company to use recycled materials. Our uh, position is quite easy. We, we uh, consider that raw materials should be available to our industry uh, in Europe. We have a technologically very developed industry. We have the people, the knowledge. We have, of course, the market, even if it's a mature market. Uh, but we have, I must, I'm afraid, uh, geographically speaking, we, we don't have a lot of raw materials. We do need to have transparent uh, market, uh, uh, metal markets. We need to have really markets that are geared for bringing to the customers the best products and not markets which are dominated by financial players that have other rules of the game that are not at all geared to uh, satisfying the customers and the markets. We, as a European Parliament, asked the European Commission to, um, to do a few studies on this price volatility. I think it's better to weigh the results of these studies than um, uh, by now coming with a lot of concrete proposals. Competition is always very good. It forces you to invent new technologies, new applications, new grades. We're trying so as a European Union in free trade agreements with India, with other countries um, to, to um, get as few restrictions as possible. Um, I'm a liberal, I strongly believe in free trade and we as a European Union are profiting a lot from free trade. So focusing on free trade and WTO as um, the, the legislative body in free trade is a very, very important way forward. What we, we would wish from the Commission is to really to look at what is going on on the world market. And uh, of course, we, we uh, as, as an industry, we welcome, let's say, the WTO uh, actions. We welcome also the, uh, uh, the view that, of course, we are in a free market and we have to, to develop, let's say, the, a level playing field in the market. It's too hard to uh, transport waste across borders. and. Um, if you want to recycle certain elements, then you need uh, economy of scale. That's why I will be uh, proposing a sort of Schengen area for waste um, to make it much easier to get your old light bulbs uh, at to one or two places in Europe and to recycle everything that is uh, in these light bulbs. We have a technologically very developed industry. We have the people, the knowledge. We have, of course, the market, even if it's a mature market, uh, but we have, I must, I'm afraid, uh, geographically speaking, we, we don't have a lot of raw materials. If member states want the wealth and well-being that we are uh, having now, experiencing now in Europe, then we need to go along this path. It's the only way forward. Resources are becoming scarcer and scarcer. So the only way forward is to go towards this circular economy, to have this green economy, and then we need to promote the use of recycled materials.